How much time? Will hey, we? we've got all sorts of things going on here at Alpha Dog and Quincy. And one of the things we've been talking about this morning is advanced training for your four-legged friends, especially when they get up into the adult years. And one of those dogs that's very well trained here is Ed. He is a German Shepherd here, and he is going to be performing what everyone here calls scent discrimination. And this is Elizabeth Boyer. She's the owner here at Alpha Dog. What is scent discrimination? Scent discrimination is Ed was going to learn to pick up only the dowel rod over there that Jeff has handled. So okay. it only has his scent on it. So he's going to turn with him now and send him over to pick up He's going to smell he's only, them all. Yep, he's only allowed to pick up the one that smells like Jeff. So he's searching, using his oh, nose. He That's found it. it. He has to bring it back and come and sit in front. And he has to hold it in his mouth until Jeff tells him to let go of it. That's amazing. <laughs> and he can tell based on his owner's scent. Yes. Now, where, where is this practically used in real life? This is practically used uh, mostly in AKC obedience mm -hmm. competition, um, but you can use it in a lot of different ways. You can use it for service dogs, um, teaching them to pick up something that you've dropped. You can use it for an exercise called an area search, where if you accidentally lost your ring out in a field, uh -huh. you could send your dog out to find your ring for you. They can search an area very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, That's amazing. Yeah. There's all sorts of things that these dogs can do. And coming up on KHQA this morning, we're going to leave you with one parting tip for those dogs that you may have just gotten and are having trouble getting trained.